In this video, we are going to list down top 5 anime by Rumiko Takahashi. So the first anime on our list is Inuyasha. Kagome Higurashi's 15th birthday takes a sudden turn when she is forcefully pulled by a demon into the old well of her family shrine. Brought to the past when demons were a common sight in the feudal Japan, Kagome finds herself persistently haunted by these wild creatures all ending for an item she unknowingly carries, the Shikon Jewel, a small spear holding extraordinary power. Amid such predicament, Kagome encounters a half-demon boy named Inuyasha who mistaken her for Kyoko, a shrine maiden he seems to resent. Because of her resemblance to Kyoko, Inuyasha takes a violent dislike to Kagome. After realizing the dire circumstances they both are in, he sets aside his hostility and lends her a hand. Unfortunately, during a fight for the Shikon Jewel, the miraculous object ends up shattered into pieces and scattered across the land. Fearing the disastrous consequences of this accident, Kagome and Inuyasha sets out on a challenging quest to recover the shards before they fall into the wrong hands. This anime has around 193 episodes and it has a rating of 7.85 on my anime list. Next up, we have Ranma Half. Ranma Saotome is a top class martial artist and a prodigy. At the Saotome, anything goes school of martial arts. While training in China, he and his father meet a terrible fate when they accidentally fall into a cursed spring. Now, Ranma is cursed to turn into a girl when splashed with cold water and only the hot water can turn him back into a boy. Things are only complicated further when Ranma discovers that his father has arranged for him to marry one of Sound Tendo's three daughters in order to secure the future of the Tendo Dojo. Though Sound learns of Ranma's predicament, he is still determined to go on ahead with the engagement and chooses his youngest daughter Akane who happens to be a skilled martial artist herself and is notorious for hitting men. Ranma Half follows hilarious adventure of Ranma and Akane as they encounter various opponents, meet new love interests and find different ways to make each other angry, all while their engagement hangs on their head. This anime has around 161 episodes and it has a rating of 7.76 on my anime list. So next up we have Urusha Yasura. Not much is notable about the lecherous Ataru Moroboshi, but his extraordinary bad luck sticks out like the horn in an alien's head. When Earth is threatened by a fleet of alien invaders known as the Oni, Ataru is selected to represent the humanity in a duel against one of them. It is a stroke of rare luck for Ataru that the duel is in fact a game of tag and that his opponent is Lum, daughter of the Oni's leader, who places her personal dignity above victory. As Ataru finds out by seizing Lum's bikini top and with it victory. However, misfortune kicks in again when Lum mistakes Ataru's promise to marry his girlfriend. Shinobu Miyake has the desire to wed Lum herself and decides she rather likes the idea. Wielding her influence as an alien princess, she moves in with him. Forced to deal with the consequences of his humanizing ways, Ataru must balance his crumbling relation with Shinobu while keeping Lum happy all the while flirting with every woman he meets. This anime has around 195 episodes and it has a rating of 7.72 on my anime list. Next up, we have Mason Ikoku. In the town of Clock Hill, there is an old boarding house called Mason Ikoku. While the residence itself is a fairly normal, most of its occupants are not. Yusaku Godai, his most quiet tenant, has finally reached his limit with his neighbor's constant disruption and boisterous parting. Wanting a calmer place to call home so that he can study in peace, he prepares to move away. However, his plan to live are suddenly interrupted when he meets a new boarding house manager, Yoko Otonashi. Falling madly in love with her, he decides that the boarding house may not be such a bad place to live after all. Unfortunately for him, Yoko has her own romantic troubles. She is a widow whose husband died six months into their marriage and despite her blossoming feelings for Godai, Yoko still cherishes her dearly departed husband and she believes that no other man could possibly fill the void in her heart. But with Godai's persistence and some help of the other eccentric tenants, she may experience true love once again. This anime has around 96 episodes and it has a rating of 8.19 on my anime list, which is the highest rating on this list. And the last one is Mermaid Saga. According to an ancient legend, mermaid's flesh can grant immortality if eaten. 500 years ago, Yota unknowingly ate a piece of mermaid flesh. For centuries, he travels across Japan, hoping to find a mermaid, thinking she may be able to make him a normal human again. 
When he finally finds one, he discovers that she and her companion have been raising a girl to be their food so they can eat her and take on her youthful looks. That is how mermaids stay young. Yuta kills the mermaid and rescues her, but she has been already eaten some of mermaid's flesh. Although he had to kill the mermaids, Yuta isn't too disappointed. Yuta once lonely existence is now over, as he found a companion in Mana. And Mana, who had been trapped in a small hut her whole life, finds delight in even the simplest of the things. Together Yuta and Mana attempts to seek out more mermaids, trying to become a normal human again. This anime has 13 episodes and it has a rating of 7.3 on my anime list. That's it for this video. See you all in the next video. Peace out.